Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Fact. The reality is there's no income cutoff to qualify for federal student aid. It doesn't matter if you have a low or high income, you will still qualify for some type of financial aid, including low interest student loans. Your eligibility is determined by a mathematical formula, not by your parents' income alone. Take our lead. You may not be required to provide parental information on your free application for federal student aid, FAFSA form. If you answer no to all of these questions, then you may be considered a dependent student and may be required to provide your parents' financial information when completing the FAFSA form. Make your mark, take our lead. Parent income only affects financial aid for dependent students. For the FAFSA, dependency is based on the federal government's criteria, not whether the parent claimed the student as a dependent on last year's tax return. Parent income does not affect financial aid at all for independent students. Take our lead. If your family makes less than $30,000 a year, you likely will qualify for a good amount of Pell Grant funding. If your family makes between $30,000 and $60,000 per year, you can qualify for some funding, but likely not the full amount. Make your mark, take our lead. How do I apply? You should start by submitting a free application for federal student aid, FAFSA form. You will have to fill out the FAFSA form every year you're in school in order to stay eligible for federal student aid. Take our lead. Currently, according to this EFC formula sheet, the allowance ranges from $1,100 to $31,900 for parents, based on age and marital status. The older you are, the more of your money qualifies for asset protection, more still if there are two parents in the picture instead of just one. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. The FAFSA will specifically ask, as of today what is the cash balance of checking, savings, accounts for the student. Cash assets sink financial aid eligibility, but are virtually untraceable unless admitted to on the FAFSA. Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. The amount of money you can get by filing the free application for federal student aid, FAFSA, depends on your financial need. But, the maximum amount can be in the low tens of thousands of dollars per year. Average amounts are about $9,000, with less than half of that in the form of grants. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Although there are no FAFSA income limits, there is an earnings cap to achieve a $0 EFC. For the 2020-2021 cycle, if you're a dependent student and your family has a combined income of $26,000 or less, your expected contribution to college costs would automatically be zero. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.